Hi, welcome to STEM Lab. I'm Tracy Tellinger, the principal. We can get them basically hooked on science, technology, and engineering. Give them the skills that they need to be um, 21st century learners, problem solvers, critical thinkers, innovators. Um, that is really what we're trying to create. It would be lovely if, as students exit our system, if they go into STEM careers and STEM fields, but what our main hope is, is for students to have the ability to think critically about their world and to engage in authentic um, experiences and opportunities to solve problems, regardless of what they choose as their career path. We also really felt it was a um, opportunity that should be offered to all students, regardless of their background. Um, STEM learning is good for for um, any type of learner and you don't have to have a certain IQ so that is not something that we feel like we can tell a five-year-old you're not curious enough to be at our school or you don't wonder that just does not happen with a five-year-old all students are curious and all students are questioners um, so there is no testing that you have to um, have to um, be accepted to STEM lab. Um, so we are open to all styles of learners. Um, we find it that our students are most successful when they do want to engage with um, others and learn from each other. And now we have this beautiful, lovely building um, that we are able to hold 700 students in PK, preschool through eighth grade, and offer them a rich, um, meaningful STEM education. We value partnership, we value authentic experiences, and we value problem-based learning. We want to ensure that our students have an opportunity to connect with and get feedback from experts in the field. So every student, every single year, will present or share an idea that they've had to a panel of experts to receive feedback on their thinking, on their ideas, so that they can iterate, they can change, they can grow their thinking as scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs themselves. Ethan. They, um, we want wolves back in Colorado because they also have been changing the ecosystem. They get to experience how to be like real world learners, like lifelong learners, because they get lots of hands-on experience. They get lots of um, authentic opportunities. What we're learning, we tie into the real world. So we expect them to be able to do it outside of these four walls, not just in these four walls.
ability to innovate is approached as a character trait rather than a skill that can be practiced and improved. Our instructional model is problem-based learning. Students approach problems collaboratively and interact with experts from industry and higher education. Problem-based learning, or PBL, is where, you, where your teacher gives you a problem and then work with a team to fix the problem. Our PBL right now that we're working on is on the boreal toad because they're, they're having problems with extinction. Also a fungus that is called chytrid. Chytrid is a kind of skin fungus. It gets into their skin um, it, and it really annoys the frogs, so they have to kind of stretch their skin, then it rips, and then they die from suffocation. At STEM Lab, we teach students how to think, not what to think, and that same philosophy applies to social-emotional learning. We teach students how to think about their emotions, and then we supply them with tools to help them self-regulate those emotions. One of the things we value here at STEM is the importance of STEM identity and helping kids develop a strong sense of self and STEM identity. A lot of research shows that kids, especially kids under the age of eight, start developing a strong identity of who they are and who they think they aren't, such as thinking they're mathematicians or thinking they're not kids who understand math. And we value the thinking here that every kid is a mathematician and every kid is a scientist and engineer and reader, writer. And we work really hard with our kids to help them develop that identity. That's something we encourage parents to do as well. My best reason to do this is just to have an experience and go help people who are not as fortunate as you. And you also like what I said, you get to make connections with people that you never thought you would make connections with. I love being here at STEM because of the PBLs and because it's just a great community that I love being around and I make so many friends and then we have awesome teachers here and amazing classrooms and yeah. What's so cool about STEM is that it has engineering um, and I really like engineering. It's really cool that some people actually use engineering to solve the very big problems and I think that's a very interesting thing that can cover the world. Articles are rated by their political bias and then you can see on the rating chart right here left center and right and then if you click the drop down you find the different categories you go to so if we select coronavirus and we click that then it switches to that category. It's kind of funny coming back and seeing all the new remodeled and seeing old teachers, but the community's still there, the relationship's still there, and it's just so heartwarming to be back. I think I'm gonna be second or third grade teachers. We are Sam Lab!